Gate keys here, and every day in the life of an SEO person, you have to do research. Stay up on the news, look what's happening. So I thought I'd look around today. Search Engine Roundtable looks like animated GIFs of Matt Cutts is the big gig today. Search Forum Recap, and here's an interesting one. Link removal fees from web directories. So a dying industry's last gasp of breath here to start to charge people to take links off rather than put them on. Isn't that a novel idea? All right, so I looked on to search engine land. Matt Cutts has 500 videos on Webmaster Help. Most of these feature Matt Cutts giving answers that are kind of quasi-concrete. So, uh, yeah, if you've seen Matt's videos, you know what I mean. So, then I decided to look at SEO mods at their blog. And I visited something I don't visit that often. That's UMOZ um, by the users. And this post caught my eye right here. Not advertised free on YouTube, which was kind of clever. Uh, basically, it, it's a way to put a link onto your video from within Google's ad network without paying for an ad to link to your website. Is it worth all the hassle and trouble? I'm not sure. But this company, whoever this is, is adding this link to all of their videos. I think there's some 800 or something. Okay, now this got my attention. Seven content archetypes that generate natural links. Well, who doesn't want natural links? So I took a look at it and began to read this blog posted on March 6th. Every SEO's dream. Press publish. Watch reruns of The Simpsons. Accumulate dozens of authority links. Uh, not my dream. Uh, a week or two in Venice, Italy, while I get dozens of authority links, might be a better dream. Nevertheless, let's take a look at the meat and potatoes of this post. So, the right content archetypes work. According to this author, content archetype, a way of forming and presenting information in order to elicit a specific response, presumably in this context to elicit a link, a natural link back to your content. And he says, I bet that you want to learn about archetypes with a proven track record of generating natural backlinks. Gotcha. Today I'm going to walk you through seven of them. If you apply these to your site, you will get more natural links from every piece of content that you publish. Archetype number one, the system. His example is the backlinking strategy that works. Posted on smartpassiveincome.com. The backlinking strategy is modeled after Joseph Archibald's strategy. He generously shared free to the public in his 40-day challenge on the Warrior Forum. Mm, Warrior Forum does have its crowd of black hats, but nevertheless, let's just take a look uh, and be objective. He was able to rank a fairly competitive niche in the top five in Google within 40 days. For also, for everyone's convenience, he has also published the 40 day challenge ebook, which is a lot easier to read than the 1200 plus posts on the Warrior Forum. These 1200 posts. Somebody's busy. Here is proof. Here's why it works. And I'm going to get back to that. Let's look at archetype number two, the ridiculously long list. So the system was a step-by-step how-to, a full system published. Can't miss step-by-step -step format. He also shows off an example of his number one ranked site to prove that his technique works. Archetype number two, the ridiculously long list. Real life example, 500 places to syndicate your content. Well, in real estate anyway, we know what syndication does. Syndication waters down content and makes many, many copies, ending up being duplicate content. The bane of a website, too much duplicate content, inviting Panda to 
uh, decrease its position. So when you have all these syndicated, indexed, listing, well, maybe this is different because this is longer content than a listing, but I think it isn't, nevertheless. He's got proof again. Buzzblogger.com supposedly has some domain authority and page authority and um, some links to it. Okay, great. The ultimate guide. Now, so far, these... Uh, these types, the long list, well, that's a little bit different. A list is a list, and they can be attractive. The ultimate guide seems to me archetype number three, much like archetype number one. Is that archetype or archetype? Well, nevertheless, here we've got the definitive guide to higher rankings for WordPress sites, Yoast.com. Well, my one comment on this is if you are Mr. Yoast and you write about Groundhog, day, you're going to get some links back because Mr. Yoast is famous for his product, Yoast SEO plugin for Google. Well, archetype number four, the industry study. So the eighthbridge.com has social commerce IQ. And I'm going to pass on that one. It's my least favorite subject. How to manipulate social whatever. Archetype number five, the visual guide, the perfect blog post by socialtriggers.com. And so this seems like um, an infographic, right? And infographics can bring about some, some uh, definite results. I have a problem though with all of these. And let's take a look at that. Oh, archetype number six, the WTF post. From Greek to Freak, how I gained 34 pounds of muscle in four weeks. Well, I guess there's always somebody who wants a magic pill. But that's from the 4hourblog.com, which is on the 4hourworkweek.com. Again, we have uh, the element of pre-built fame, the 4-hour workweek. That guy is famous. Finally, archetype number seven, the absurdly useful post. 24 quick actions. This sounds like archetype number, uh, what was that, two, three? The ultimate ridiculously long list. Well, this is the ridiculously shorter list, I think. 24 quick actions that you can do today that can change your financial life forever. Manversusdebt.com now I'll take a look at some of these. So here I've got a Prezi, um, making, just starting to make use of Prezi. So we've got an iceberg here, and we always look when we're sailing along any kind of proverbial metaphorical sea. When we are sailing on the metaphorical seas of SEO, we come across something that looks pretty big, an iceberg. Well, let's take a look at that iceberg. The tip of the iceberg is what we typically see, and we begin to think, oh, look, there's, there's an effect. I wonder what the cause of it is. And so we look at the iceberg and say, well, it's this thing here about the iceberg that uh, made this rank. So, in fact, we've got some proof here. Let's start with smartpassiveincome.com. Um, we've got uh, some domain metrics page authority, linking root domains. So we've got a, a single post that's done very well and has links to it, lots of links to it. But let's take a look at smartpassiveincome.com. Here's the whole iceberg. Let's look at this piece of it. The website's five years old. It already has a half million backlinks over those five years. Here's where it started in 2008 on the Wayback Machine. And here are links over the last five years, just about a half million links, okay? So Smart Passive Income began this venture with a very large amount of links and domain authority. So if they publish something new, they've got a quite of a head start over a real estate website, don't they? 
Now, let's look at the next site, buzzblogger.com. I looked that up, and it's also about five, five years old. It has few less links. It only has 150,000 backlinks. But there was a problem with Buzzblogger that kind of stopped me in my tracks. This was a warning from the router. Um, a known spyware website. So we just did not proceed forward there. I presume it's famous and well known. And this gets back to Warrior Forum. Is maybe is that a little bit of a dubious uh, locale to be picking up ideas? I, you know, Warrior Forum is what it is. It's got a little bit of everything, including plenty of black hat. All right. So again, you look at the whole picture, and I will say this: I think that the strategies that are outlined here are basic good advice if you create good posts and they're very useful and very helpful and very interesting you can get links back to them but if you are not already as famous as Mr. Yoast or any of these websites that obviously have a bit of fame already a four hour work week come on it's like been on television so if you're not on television you might have a bit of a challenge getting up to running speed. So implement these, uh, these strategies, these tactics, make your posts interesting. Uh, but let's not say this is proof. Let's say that this is um, corroborating evidence or that is, it's uh, correlation. And we can decide for ourselves how that correlation may or may not have any amount of causation to it. Okay, that's it for this. And this is Dave Keys. Thanks for watching.